Bentley, a brand that conjures up images of old boys racing across continents, wind in their tashes and a martini at every stop. It's also one that exudes luxury, style and elegance, and it's one of the most special out there. But why is that so? What makes this combination of metal, paint, wood and engine so wonderful? Let me explain. The devil is in the detail, each and every tiny, tiny detail. Painstaking isn't the word. When the second generation Continental GT was launched at the 2010 Paris Motor Show, lots of people commented that it looked remarkably similar to its immediate predecessor. But there are a few subtle differences. For example, this wing right here is actually one solid piece of metal, whereas in the previous car it was two put on top of one another. Now, when the designers went to the engineers and suggested they do this, the engineers had a bit of a head scratching moment because the metal didn't quite work like that. So, because form has to follow function, what they did was they took to super forming aluminium, something they'd never done before. It was a bit of a risk, but it paid off. Also, both the predecessor and the second generation Continental GT do have cues that hark back to the Continentals of old, which is why you have this power line up here and also the large wheel arches at the back, because after all, if it ain't broke, well, why should you fix it? Let's start with the paint job. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Well, to get there, it has to go through 20 stages, including zinc phosphate coating, three bakings from 140 to 175 degrees, sanding with two different types of sandpaper and 50 discs of them, wax injections, ultra-fine polishing to give the cars the Bentley mirror finish. The process takes, on average, 11 working days to complete. The paint may take 11 days to do, but the wood in here takes four weeks to go from a thin piece of veneer to the shiny slice of polished beauty you see in the cabin. There's laser cutting, several stages of lacquering, polishing, more lacquering, flattening, more cutting, detailing, and even more lacquering. The standard of wood is so high that Bentley standard wood is now a wood industry thing. It's crazy, but it all adds up. Even the leather in here is ultra special. The ten bulls, not cows, the leather in here comes from are fully grown, live in fields without barbed wire in case they nick their precious hides on a fence. The smell was an important part of it too. Customers noticed that the smell wasn't quite right in their new cars, so Bentley discovered that the tanning plant they used had changed their technique and politely but firmly asked that they change it back to keep their customers happy. When the car's finally ready to be assembled, it goes through over 1,000 quality checks and a full road test and then even more finishing before it's ready to be handed over to its lucky new owner. And all that from a company which is often flippantly referred to as one that makes cars almost exclusively for footballers. This version will do 0 to 62 miles an hour in a stately 5 seconds, and it'll near as damn it hit 190 miles an hour. It'll also allegedly top 25 miles to the gallon, though I'll fully admit I haven't quite managed that as of yet because, well... So this £165,000 with option Bentley is worth every single 
penning and even the engine in here is pretty special it's a four liter twin turbocharged unit it's got 500 brake horsepower and 487 pound per foot of torque and while the engine isn't actually built in crew it's imported from audi the engineers there remove 13 brake horsepower and add seven pound per foot of torque so you get a more competent cruiser There is one minor downside to the whole package. It is a little bit heavy. It weighs nearly two and a half tons, but you have to take a few things into account. For example, after the engine, the seats are the second heaviest thing in the car. Then there's the fact that there are 10 cows worth of skin in there and about a million trees in all the wood. I mean, even with a damper set to ultra sporty mode, it can feel a little wobbly in corners, but you have to remember that this isn't a sports car. It's a GT. Its engine sounds incredible. Its acceleration is punishing and wonderful, but it's designed to waft you from A to B with all the luxury, lineage, heritage and style that in this case, literally, money can buy. So why then is a Bentley special? Because everything that happens on one single site in crew adds up. The painstaking work that goes in to make each piece of wood shiny. The paint reflect the sun just so. The seats perfect and the performance blow not only your mind, but your ears. All that means you're not just driving a car, but countless hours of love and care from people who love their job. And their job is your happiness. Things don't get more special than that.